So on today's episode, something I've eaten all my life, but also never in my life. Pizza in a log form called Stromboli. Let's get into it. It's Black Hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. On today's video, I've been commissioned by one of my largest MVP supporters to make a Stromboli. Now, you guys know I hate working with flour, so we're trying this. I hope it works. It could be a fail. We'll see what happens. But his favorite ingredients in this are an onion, mushrooms, bacon. Now, I'm partial to strip bacon. I tried to find crumble bacon. There isn't crumble bacon. I don't know what he likes preferentially, but this is what we have for bacon today. And extra cheese and then sauce. So, very simple. It's basically a pizza log that you cut into sections, almost like pinwheel pizza roll sandwich things. Anyways, let's make it. All right, first thing I'm doing is thin mandolin onions. Nice and perfect, easy, save you some time. Mandolins are the best thing ever. Same thing with the mushroom, cr cremini mushroom. Perfect little slices, just like this. Just watch your fingies with the mushrooms because they can uh, get a little risky with the mushrooms, more so than the onion. But that's what you end up with. Perfect little slices of mushrooms. So thin sliced mushrooms and onions ready. Next up, we gotta saute this bacon. Bacon pieces, kind of like lardon almost, going into the pan. Not quite lardon, but you know what I mean. Chunked out into smaller pieces. Not perfect little squares though. If bacon cooking down and rendering out isn't one of the best smelling things in the world, then I don't know what is. But we're coming along nice and golden here. We just keep it low and slow and pushing that golden crisp. All right, I'm gonna say that's about perfect for our bacon right about there. Gonna go ahead and give these mushrooms and onions a light little pre-cook, a light little saute. Just because I don't want them to be fully raw while we cook this because it is a wrapped. Like a normal pizza, you don't get that, uh, the toppings exposed to the heat outside basically because they're inside of the stromboli. So I definitely want to cook these down just a little bit. Apparently cooking mushrooms and onions smells almost as good as bacon. So there's that. <laughs> All right, that should be good. Just a light saute. Come to Hoodie's house for perfect bacon every time. And then into the internal ingredient prep dish, we have our lightly sauteed mushrooms and onions, all living together, eventually in one pocket of dough goodness. Okay, perhaps the scariest, hardest part, the part that strikes fear in my heart. <laughs> The old uh, peel and pop method on these <laughs> gets a little crazy sometimes, but also I just really hope this dough doesn't play with my emotions and mess around. So let's figure this out. We got to press on the line and twist. If we, oh, there we go. It's like champagne, but pizza dough. Okay, come out gingerly and gently, please. Please, please do it. Thank you. Okay. All right, from here should be pretty easy. We've got a nice rolling format. Perfect. Okay, this looks like it's gonna work out very nicely for me. Thank you, sir. We do appreciate your uh, compliance around here for ease of use, but we need to be more centered and stretch it out a bit. I think this is gonna work fantastically. Just so long as we don't stretch it too far and cause too many rips, or any rips for that matter, because we don't want leakage. We don't want blowouts, now do we? Is this cheating? This feels like cheating. If it is, I'm not gonna say sorry for it because it's making my life so much, so much easier. We sauce, like uh, Picasso with the paintbrush here. Then of course we cheese. We continue to cheese. Even spread, even distribution. We know this is about making food now, don't we? We mushroom and onion. You guys, this smells amazing right now. I'm not gonna lie. Spread her around. We extra cheese. We cheese again. Absolute moment of truth. There is technique to this, I do believe. You gotta get the first fold started in, and then you kinda use the parchment paper 
to help it along. We get this first quarter turn, all right? To where we're a little bit tucked, aha. Uh -huh. And then we pull back and roll it over again. Like so, one more of those. Keeping everything tucked. So like a giant burrito. Okay, and now we gotta get it back to the parchment paper. Tucking these ends. Okay, crimp up the end. Pinch and crimp and pinch and crimp and pinch and crimp. Spin move. Same on this side. Don't need any blowouts. The belly of the beast. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, I gotta act fast on this. I gotta set this in the fridge because the dough is getting away from me. I gotta get it to firm up. So the Strombo is set up real nice now. It's not completely too soft and melting apart. So we're gonna hit it just with some scores on the top. And gonna kind of score it as like pieces for when it comes out we'll basically have we'll kind of cut it into these pieces so we'll do like an inch inch and a half maybe and then of course for that nice crispy glistening sheen we have an egg wash here and we're just going to lightly egg wash the top nothing too crazy just so we get that golden bakery finished crust and that's it you could top it with stuff i might throw some cheese on like at the very end but if i put it on now it's gonna come out too crispy and burnt so to the oven 20 minutes at 400. all right 20 some odd minutes in we're coming along we're getting the gold got to get the crisp up top here looks like a giant leaky pizza pop but I am gonna add some top mozzarella for the finishing five to 10 minutes. Go ahead and sprinkle the top of this with some mutts. Laden the top mozzarella back into the oven for another, I wanna say seven minutes probably at least. All right, y'all. Five to seven minutes later, and I think we're right <laughs> where we need to be. Look at that strong bowl though. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get this off of this parchment paper with this fish spatula. We didn't blow out the ends and everywhere, so that's looking good. Everything's going good. We like this. As a first time attempt at something I've never eaten, we're looking good. So we're gonna slide this off to the eating station. Look at that, we got those crispy little cheeses. Little, little snack. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is let this set up for like 10 minutes. It would be nice to have it oozy goozy, but like a pizza pop, that interior is just going to go everywhere. It'd be a mess. So we have to let it set up and then we're going to cut it into our pieces and then get after it with our mouth. I've become extremely impatient in the anticipation of this. The outside, still quite a bit of heat, but it's not burn me heat still hot though i don't know what to do here i'm in such a predicament i know there's a ton of internal heat still because if i do this hold that in there for a sec and then do this ah oh, not too bad all right i'm impatient we're going for it i need to get sink my teeth into this because i just had even those little cheese crispies on the side and oh my word it's already <laughs> so delicious. Just that melted cheese. Just those crispy melted cheese bits alone are already speaking volumes. All right. So we cut it into pinwheel tea finger sandwich pizza pop, pizza pocket style stramboli. All right, are we raw inside? What are we looking like inside? How are these onions and mushrooms and everything? Oh, 
Very, very nice, my friend. A little bit gummy, but like I said in my Pizza Pot video, I like that. Let's go ahead and take this to the eating station. I'll meet you there. So, pizza in a log form, requested by he who shall remain anonymous, though I know you're watching. And to be honest with you, one of the, if not the most supportive person on my channel, probably who wants to see me win in this bitch and then provides a couple things here and there to be like, yo, I want to see you win in this bitch, so here's some shit to help you win in this bitch. Uh, believes in me more than I believe in myself, let's just say that. So, I have some definite diehards, but this person in particular really really top tier okay so slid in hit me with some resources requested this and uh here we are so i need to try a bite of this now we have a few things this has been my shit lately i've replaced the pepperoncinis with mild banana pepper bites okay that's one thing this is out of pocket for me i will be dunking in a marinara today and that's for the subscriber didn't request it but i feel like he's a uh, that kind of guy I, I have this intuition that he's a marinara guy and i don't know how he feels about the runny ranch so we're going to give two options today anyways got a polar pop we got a fresh mountain dew but really what we need to mountain dew before that is do this inspectigate this uh you know, a technically homemade pizza pop, really, if you think about it. But, you know, we got nice browning, golding. It is quite warm, and as much as I want it to be a handheld, I'm like, fuck, do I have to fork and knife this? <laughs> Anyways, there we go. That's for you, my guy. We're going to chase it or combine it with a pepper bite. A first for me, a marinara dunk bite. Not something I usually do. That's grand, as they might say in Ireland. Ireland, that's grand. Dracula, getting to be that season. All right, let's bring it up for a, a true close donkey dunk. A too close donkey dunk. Then we do this, watch this little runny riz biz for the combination sauce. I literally just drooled in my mouth thinking about it, and I already had a bite. Wow. This right here is a new favorite pizza treat. That dough. Pillsbury kind of puff dough worked out be beautifully. Those perfectly nice little sliced cremini mush. Are amazing. The bacon in there just giving it a little little smoky kick. And honestly, I gotta go for an end piece. Like on the roast, the end of the roast is always the best. Or the best texture. The best all that. I can't get off this marinara. You know what? Okay, I gotta go for at least one. Just plain ranch. Just to see what that's like. About to get ourselves a nice crunchy bite. I can't wait. Another pepper. Right. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's like crust on a normal pizza. But this style of crust has all the ingredients literally wrapped 
into it. I didn't even expect it to be this good. I am a fan of the fillings, if you will, and or toppings, right? I do like the choices. And I like how it's simple, just a f like, you know, four little ingredients. But it is honestly heavenly. Let's be heavenly by your ear. Watch. Ho, 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 ho. Dry up. My guy, I hope you're satisfied with the strip bacon. I didn't know if he meant crumble or not. We didn't specify. I'm not really a huge crumble fan myself, so it's better for me than a strip bacon. And honestly, I don't even know where to find crumble bacon. Where does one source a good crumbly bacon? I'm gonna kick it straight with you. Now I made this marinara. This is different from what I spread on the pizza. This is just a straight like San Marzano plain sauce with a little basil infusion in the sauce. Then I added in like pureed garlic and a, and a hit of what I do in everything. A lot of sauces is that brine, the brine of hot peppers. <laughs> It just livens it up, gives it a little salt. But, yo. It's killing it. It's garlicky, garlicky. Mmm. Marinara bites. But yeah, if you're gonna make one of these, moving it to the freezer for like 15 minutes to let it kind of come together and set up was the move. Because otherwise, I feel as if the dough was getting too too soft for me, like working with it in the room temperature, heating it up and everything. That if I threw it in the oven, then I would have for sure got would have got leaks and compromised uh, the whole situation and had just shit leak everywhere. It needed time to set up. I gotta tell you, man, it's just a pizza experience I've never had before. I think it's way up there right now. I love how everything's contained. I love how it's so dippable and dunkable and like in your dip you just get everything. Like every bite has everything to offer, right? You're not missing anything. It's just like all in there. It was perfect. I know I would love a plain pep and cheese, but I'll have to do that for myself sometime. Absolutely.
It's very much like a uh, like a foot long sub of pizza, right? I just have my first six inches. Now I have my next six inches. One, two, three, four. If I cut this, five, six. That's what it looks like, literally. That being said, I'm satisfied right there. I don't want to get too, too full, but like I'm just, I'm right perfect. And I don't want to keep eating through to the point where it's like not like, ah, oh, anymore because I loved how fucking good it is. So I just want to keep like that memory. Anyhow, to my dude, you know who you are. Hopefully you can see it okay that I used the pre-made Pillsbury pizza dough and that this was uh, on point and enjoyable for you. For the rest of y'all, give it a go. Try it. It's easy. Simple toss together. It's like a really good meal for not that much effort. So, you know, here we are. All right, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.